Welcome on Nakama to the Onco Podcast Reviews, Chapter 1068, A Genius's Dream. If you are joining us from our reaction, welcome back. If this is your first video from us ever, prepare yourself. Uh, quick little request before we jump in, please like, please subscribe, please comment, helps the algorithm, helps us. We want to grow into a channel so we can bring more content to you more often. All the time. And so, we just want to hear from you. We do. We also like to interact in the comments. Sometimes we'll like say really nice things. Sometimes. And that's about it. <laughs> just nice things here. Right now, less than 100 subscribers, really nice things. We get over 20,000, maybe we'll start having some hot takes. Anyway, <laughs> with that, 1068, A Genius's Dream Review. So, wow. <laughs> I almost just said something that would have been a hot take. Hot take. I'm, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Let's avoid that for now. It's, it's too uh, relevant. Check out our OnlyFans. Um, no. <laughs> so, a genius's dream. So, we actually find out what the genius's dream is. It's Dr. Vegapunks, the genius, talking about wanting to provide the entire world with free energy. Um, that is no. We're actually, dream. when he's talking about his dream, he's known as Tesla Punk. Tesla Punk. Right. We have yeah. we have we have Punkstein, Tesla Punk. Apple Gram Apple, Apple Grams. Grams. I'm gonna Which call is... him Tesla Ye Punk. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we find out Vega Punk's dream in this uh, chapter, which interestingly enough might actually be the one thing that he needed to get on Luffy's ship. Because most straw hats have dreams. I mean, I'm not saying Vega Punk confirmed as a straw hat now. But hey. I mean, I think the fact that he had apple for a head and a long ass tongue already won Luffy's heart. Oh, Luffy was literally like, <laughs> you have a weird head. Jump all, on. All I needed to do was ask him if he could poop. <laughs> True. Could Which, have. Then he would meet, and then he would introduce him to York and he'd be like, oh, I can poop. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll need to bring York, but yes, I can. Um, so, very interesting thing. Uh, let's start at the top with, um, you know, two four members of MADS. So MADS we've heard about quite a bit. It's an acronym. We don't know what it means, question mark? Uh, one second. But we know that, or uh, maybe we do. I know that Caesar, Judge, Vegapunk, and Queen were all a part of it. This was a big science group back in the day. We don't know how far. As far as we're aware, it it's just a reference it's to just MAD scientists. It's a reference to MADS scientists. So right. Which all of them be. are. Yes. Um... But so yes, you literally named the four people that the uh, wiki that has. we are aware of that are part of Mads. <clears throat> yes, uh, and all of the other Vegapunks would also have access to this information as well, since they all link up to punk records. Yes. So in a sense, all of them were a part of Mads at one point. But when we actually look at the cover story, we just see Vegapunks specifically there with the shadowy version of what we can only assume is Judge and Caesar. Um. Do you guys think that Mads is actually going to play a larger role in the story? Or is this more like, what's that island? Um, God Valley. Is this like a God Valley thing? We'll like, allude to it, but overall, going forward, it's not that important. I think God Valley is going to have a lot of importance to the story right. at some point. So do you think Mads is in the same category? Um, yes. Yeah, honestly, I'd say, given the fact that it's centered around Vegapunk, and it just... The, the the cover stories, they're just becoming more and more relevant to what we're currently reading, it mm. seems like. Instead of just being side stories. Yeah. Do we see Caesar and Judge and Vegapunk potentially reuniting with this cover story, continuing those two's story? I honestly, I still would love it if my, my wish came true that um, them plus Queen would get roped into something by... Mm. Uh, we get roped in essentially helping Straw Hat or something by Vegapunk because Vegapunk seems like the he seems like the type of guy to hold the kind of sway over them mm. that even Cobb holds over Crocodile. Mm. Croco boy. Yeah, I'll tell you a secret if you don't behave. <laughs> all right, all right. Don't tell Luffy I'm his mom. Okay. Um, very interesting cover story. Uh, I again am very curious to see where it goes next. My assumption is either the next cover story or the one following it might be the end because again i'm just i'm this seems like maybe a couple <laughs> minutes after the last scene it's getting closer unless we go back to whole cake where i could see us maybe interacting with katakuri again i have the whole theory that maybe he goes and saves a lot of safe pudding i don't know um that's all i want to talk about cover story wise anything else from you guys okay no 
Moving on. Pythagoras has a fun conversation with CP0. Denies them entry. They're trying to find some way in. Mentions G14. Now, I know we haven't been to this island in a bit, but the last time we were there, Hemlepo. Hemlepo. God damn it. Fucking. <laughs> that guy. If it helps, <laughs> the last time Kat and I talked, she totally said it that way, too. Hemlepo. I am, I am, because, because you've infected I've her. Infected. Oh, Cody. <laughs> oh, Cody. I don't care. <laughs> um, the last time we were at G14, Kobe's partner and... Um, <laughs> And, and the cute girl were trying to get um, their help in rescuing Kobe and uh, it was it just Kobe? Just just Kobe from Blackbeard. Yes. We met Vice Admiral Dahl. We met a prince guy, some, his name Prince something. Yeah. Who was a part uh, of Sword. Let me go back and find it. He, he, was, he was a part of Sword. Go. Anyway, they were trying to get hey, you know, Ahead's so close we can get other Seraphim, we can go fight. And they were like, we have to wait for orders because that's all the Marines do these days. They just wait for orders. So G14, we're reminded, is very close by, which Tashigi is also at with the kids from Pongkazer. Yes. So there's a lot of interconnected lines here, and I'm wondering if that mention of G14 is going to turn into... No, go ahead. Finish your Is thought, going to I'll turn interrupt. into G14 coming in to assist, and because of the Straw Hat's connections to some of those characters, them going against CP0. Because we've learned a little bit in Film Red that Sword and the CPs don't necessarily share information. In fact, might be quite at odds with one another. Some infighting might be possible. Some people represent the Celestial Dragons being CPs. I mean, well, I mean, Sword I mean, take Marine. take into account the fact that Drake straight up fought against CP Zero. Hundred percent. Stabbed Guernica, and Guernica was like, "I envy you." I, he, you turn, I, he turned I, into a fucking. I, I wish I could do this, boss hog. But off I go to stop Kaido. I think Guernica was banana beer. <laughs> no, that's Joseph. No, like just boy, what? the South yeah. will rise again. So where did we get that come from? There's an SBS. You can look it up okay. as well. Joseph is banana beard. Guernica is the one with the scarf, which is why bowler people hat guy. allude bowler hat guy is why they allude that he's alive because the photos of Straw Hat Luffy in Gear Five came, came from, from Guernica. Guernica. And uh, that only happened after Luffy got what pooped. Okay. Anyway, uh, yes, he was correct about Doll. Helmeppo and Hibari were the ones asking for help Both. from Prince Groose. Both members of Sword. Grus, Groose. Yes. I don't know how you pronounce it. Well, Kobe's in Sword. No, so. yeah. Well, everybody here is a member of Sword besides I mean, Doll. Yeah, Doll. Which not, not sure, sword. but she seems to be talking with Sword people, so maybe she knows. She, she, it's, it's just that she's the one. She's have the, the vice sword. admiral commander of G14. Yeah, and people yeah. were thirsting. Um, about dog. I mean, to be fair, she hot. Mm -hmm. We can all agree. Yeah. Doesn't happen often, but we can. Um, <laughs> so I think this might be... Sanji is worse straw hat fight me. <laughs> but that doesn't make him a bad character. Agreed. <laughs> You're gonna get murdered on him. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get cross. I thought we were doing hot takes. <laughs> anyway. Save it for sorry, predictions. Sorry. So anyway, G14 being brought up here, interesting, because we might need to revisit what's going on over there. Yeah. Because where Toshigi is, we might have a certain uh, chain smoker as well. <laughs> and it's been a bit. And if you'll remember the last time we saw a smoker, it, it was, was on, on Punk, punk hazard. hazard. And now what kind of hazardly punk island are we on now? Tis Egghead, my dudes. Mega punk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, G14 being brought up here, very interesting. I could see potentially something happening there with even more characters coming to this. Oh, side. and it's also cool to see that maybe a, a bunch of potential, like, a bunch of potential, I mean, this whole chapter. Allies? Like, enemies? Who's coming? Pot potential marine allies, including maybe Sentamaru. Maybe Sentamaru. Which who's, is weird to think about. Who's coming out? Who's not? Prince! All Bruce? I'm saying. Wrong Prince. No. Oh, he's talking about this. Oh. He's coming out. Got it. Anyway, very <laughs> interesting to think about. Um, okay, there it is. The wiki's updated. Gernica, Joseph, Ma. Gizmonda, Maha. Yes. Um, cool. All righty. I'll put up so, a little thing. So, so there's at least 13 members. Yeah, yeah, quite a few. Damn. So we get that interaction. 
Uh, and they're like, um, excuse you, 15 Brock, <laughs> Hattori. Hattori, and Funkfried Count. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's really fun about Hattori? What? He wears a hat. I, you know, I knew you were going there. I knew I shouldn't have asked. Hey, we're all like that, Tori. <gasps> we all wear hats. Um, another interesting thing. CP0 has some problems with Egghead because some of their ships have been going missing. Now, Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> and you know who's really mad to be hearing those accusations? Uh, Lilith. <laughs> Who's... Literally, introduction was, oh yeah, I destroy ships and take resources. <coughs> it's totally what I do. I'm evil. Uh, and Pythagoras is trying to calm her down. Hey, 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 don't yell at them, blah, blah, blah. Um, and Lucci seems to back off. Very well understood, Kirchhoff. And you then know, immediately it, goes back on that. <laughs> it is interesting, actually. Mm. Like, this is just a small thing. And I, maybe it's just the situation. But... It feels like it feels like he's learned almost subtlety, not not in terms of in terms of like how he addresses when he's not undercover, because the the one that I remember, or at least I think I remember, from, mm. he would have been said he would have just been like, then you'll die, mm -hmm. but this time it's like understood, yeah, attack essentially, yeah. like it almost there's almost like an enhanced subtlety to him now. It seems yeah. like. You, you, you appreciate that he's kind of grown in his ways of espionage in that now he isn't overt with his threats. He knows that he can still be threatening without having a direct yeah. line of... Yeah. So you're saying you like that he turned off his communication device before laying out his plan. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. It shows that maybe there was some actual growth, even if it's growth in the evil direction, right, if that makes right, sense. Right. So like, say you had like... I don't know, a transponder <clears throat> snail that was given to you by someone really important in the world, um, and you were just talking about your plans, and then only after revealing your plans did you go, huh, I should blow that up. You like that he disconnected the call yeah. first. Stop calling me out <laughs> about our D&D campaign uh, on I stream, <laughs> you dick! I didn't call you at I. We're not streaming. We're recording. <laughs> not yet. Maybe. Coming 2023. On record! Stop calling me out! <laughs> I'm sorry we're still on that island in if, our campaign! If, if we get too. more subscribers and likes, maybe we'll stream a campaign. I don't know. Anyway. It is a One Piece campaign. It's it fun. is relevant to the channel. All right, so with that, <clears throat> he agrees to abandon ship, and he says we'll infiltrate using S-Bear's ability, which we come later to realize is the pawpaw fruit. Which is incredibly interesting, considering not too long after, in fact, directly after that, we see Kuma popping himself somewhere. Yeah. That's two pawpaws, folks, in, like, less than a second. Also, a couple things. I mean, there's two fish fish. A couple, Maybe. A couple things, real quick. You're talking about the swim swim? No, no he's talking about Kaido's they... fruit. Oh, very true. But, and this is the thing with the smiles, they were only Zoans. Paramecia Fair. might be a, is a very new thing for us readers to go, oh shit, you can do that? And we don't know. We don't know for certain if that's what he can Watch do. Watch them be not as complicated because they're not inherently animals. A mm -hmm. uh, couple things. Yeah, bro. Go ahead. Um, one... One just real quick going. One's really not that important. No, anyway. oh, no, everything you say is important. So. That's come, don't don't put me don't put that on me. <laughs> don't, put it on you. Don't butter him up. Damn it, that's not buttering. That's putting too much responsibility uh, on my shoulders. There you go. On your shoulders, Atlas. Uh, <laughs> on your knees. Okay, Kratos. You on your. Oh knees. no no, she's on her back. Uh, anyways, <laughs> on your back. <laughs> so one one of the things I'm really excited about, and maybe I'm building up too much. Maybe it's just like a one and done, and like oh, this is how strong Luffy is. Mm -hmm. But one of the things I'm really looking forward to is seeing a cipher pull run by Luchi not Spandam. Oh yeah, and see how True. that changes yes. the operation. Yeah. Though I will say Kaku's first <laughs> leap into it. I feel I I I, I, I mean it's a gag. Yeah. No, well, I get this feeling that Kaku is literally just playing a part right now. Yeah. He's good at that. I think I think it's good to have some comedy when the next thing we see is what he does to Atlas. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, back to what you were saying. And then another thing, and this this is the part that really isn't important, but it just surprises me. Is mm. like 
So for the longest time, because you know how One Piece has these just crazily made characters. Oh, absolutely. The, and they, the, the silliest. The longest time, one of the things... I don't mind like you know, you know Kuma's probably super buff, but you just can't see it because of the way he looks. Mm, very true. Then they very finally true. see under the shirt, like that, okay, they how did, did you make that look natural? Damn. Yeah. He's how got like make... a bajillion abs. Jesus, like <laughs> Bartholomew. <Yeah. laughs> Bar Bartholomew Puma. Whoa, because Puma's are really muscular. You know, the mountain cats. Please stop explaining the joke. Just mm. move on. Mm. <laughs> He's got more of the he's got more of the like build of a bear though. Oh well, exactly. Um, That's why he's Kuma. Here's my thing. Remember a few chapters ago. <laughs> do you? Me- <laughs> What's the point? Do you remember a few chapters ago, Brock, when we Sorry. were debating about Kuma's race? Because there was that weird line where it's like, "My father's yes. in a very special race, right?" Yeah. Well, this is a meme more than anything else. But there was for a very short, brief time. Uh, a Reddit thread, or it was a post somewhere, maybe. Yeah. Maybe in a comment section. They were basically like, oh, yeah, Kuma, he's a part of the, the, the Big Breast clan. Like, he had a huge chest. And so they were like, yeah, long arm, long leg, big breast. Yeah, that's that's that, that's his island. And then it came out as special people, and they still kept that going. They just didn't make it a race. They're just like, oh, he's big breasted. So, yeah, <laughs> seeing him with his shirt open like that, wowee. Those are pecs, not those, breasts. <laughs> my man does, does, yeah. Wow. Looking like Thor from uh, Ragnarok. Except bigger. <laughs> Except bigger. Um, so yeah, Kuma poofs. You guys are on the same boat as me with he's just coming to Egghead, right? That's or what I'm, do you have I'm other kind thoughts? of assuming that that's... Yeah, for now, that's... There's some bit of there, him that there's... knows Bonnie's in danger, maybe. Yeah. And <clears throat> the whole instinct thing, right? From very early well, on so, in Egghead. So, and I'm going to steal blatantly from my wife's uh, reaction that she did to 1067. No. Check that out. It actually just came out. There's as... also a short version. Yeah, there's a short version, will get you into the full too. version. Um... But her assumption, and I am very much with her on this, um, is that in what they've been doing to Kuma since they got him away has been somewhat restoring part of him Mm -hmm. a little bit. Hopefully. So much so that his father instinct is possibly going into effect. Or maybe there's even some inherent, like, protect Vegapunk at all cost code. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that is, like, going off right now. Yeah. Um, my only thing right now is from past stuff we know about the paw paw fruit. Mm. When he boops you, you fly for three days before landing. Can he either, A, expedite that because he's awakened, or he's using it on himself, or B... Is this scene happening three days ago? Prior. So, a counterpoint, if you will. If you remember in... Uh, if it's so scary... Thriller Bark. Ever, thank you. Thriller Bark. Get to the point. You know, okay. you know in Thriller Bark when he's like really scaring Perona? Yes. He's bopping himself at multiple points and he's just appearing uh, places so i think he's always been able I didn't to remember that so i'm, I'm on, on that on that thing well yeah. kind of counterpoint kind of maybe not counter counter my point or counter counter his point or counter 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 your own jesus point. <laughs> let's just i'm, I'm gonna full counter you with I'm a pop on I'm, I'm gonna say something all Go right ahead, that's fair I'll, i'm not gonna okay so <laughs> there is a possibility that the amount of time it takes also depends on the distance um, fuck you sorry <laughs> but the, the distance might take a, a count into that. Mm, like, mm. you know, all the straw hats, they went far away. Cool, yeah. And he pawed them into a new world, when right? he when, when Yeah. When, 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 when he was when he was pawing himself there, it was short distances, right? Yes. So maybe that... But also, it also could be what Burke said, that maybe the fact that he's using it on himself, there's more control there, mm-hmm. and he can actually control where he goes. And also, once again, possibly ability of Awakened yeah. as well. So I think, what do you want? Possibility. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> no, Brock, don't leave. Don't leave. Brock, where are you going? Not, oh, God. No, Brock, time. no more technical difficulties. It's, it's Please. Time. Please, no more technical difficulties. I'm sorry. Oh, is that what you did last time? I did, yeah. Okay. Did you not watch it? Oh, you I, fixed my hat. Oh, Brock. Now I can't see. To be fair, I watched the reactions. Re- you know what through. sucks for you, though, Brock? <laughs> I can still hear when you say paw things. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> You're so dumb. 
Anyway, so anyway, I think we all agree he very well could be heading to Aegon. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's Either very much a possibility. Protect Vegapunk, protect Bonnie. I, I feel like with the way that Oda has been splitting up these like transitions over to Kamabaka Kingdom, mm-hmm. it's very much ingrained in what the action is currently going through on Egghead. So <clears throat> this Kuma stuff very much seems like it's attached and or related to what is happening on Egghead to me. Can you see if Kawabaka... Kamabaka. Yeah. Can you see if that island is in the New World or if it's in the Paradise portion? Because if it's in the New World, then we very well might actually be somewhat close to Egghead with it. It's an island in Paradise. Paradise. It is located close to the Lelusia Kingdom. Okay. And they're in the New World on Egghead. So that's going to be quite the journey then. So this might actually take... It might have been three days prior. Like I said. Very good. Cool. All right. With that, we head into the junkyard. With real, Luke. Real, real, real quick, oh. what what if he can actually? Because <coughs> he asked them where they go on vacation. What if he could actually send him towards certain people so he'll arrive to where Bonnie is or Vegabunk is in three days? Maybe, maybe. What if he could mark people? You're saying what? That he is sending himself. I'm, I'm saying like, what if he doesn't? What if it doesn't have to be a place? What if it could be a person? Like he was homies. With Herculean Beetle Guy. And he was like, I'm going to remember you, and I might send you students from time to time. And I'm Herculean you, was like, I'm going to send you a long nosed Pinocchio, motherfucker. Well, I mean, I wasn't referring to that, but that's also a thing. But I, I, but like, I, he I, had, I, was, I was thinking more in terms of like maybe he's sending himself after Bonnie. Here's my thing if Kuma is, I like your idea too, because if he was a leader of an island, my thought process would be he knew other leaders of other islands or other islands yeah. in their. You know, inhabitants. Oh, and by the way, I'm not. I'm not saying that he can't go to places, but I think it'd be cool if that. And he could actually. It's more like he could actually send himself to people, people and places. Yeah, hundred percent. And I think that's that'd be cool because, as a leader of his own island, he might know quite a few people in different islands, areas, yeah. and things. And if he can hone in on a person, just basically, if, with him having been a world leader at one point, there is an infinite amount of other world leaders he's met yeah so he could basically go to any island he wanted to as long as i mean he's he's basically uh luffy was sent to middle of nowhere in the amazon lily so he might have been sent to an island but some of the other ones like landed with like specific people so anyway they go into the junkyard portion we meet luffy we meet vegapunk again who's again talking about his dream about giving the world all this energy, and it would basically stop war and stop hitting fighting over you know resources. What? Thinking about it, mm-hmm. him becoming a straw hat isn't that weird because he's talking about his dream to me. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm just saying. Say that I didn't the... hear that part. Oh, no, it's okay. fair. But like, because I, because at first I'm just like, <laughs> he's begging what? No. But then I'm like, he's talking about his dream. And it's a grand asking dream. if he can go on the ship. And it's a dream that fits with the uh, Straw Hat motif. And you know what we don't have on our freedom. ship right now? You know what we don't have on our ship? Vegapunk? No, no, a no. Scientist. Like, what? A scientist. A <laughs> scientist. We have an archaeologist. We have a shipwright. We do not have a scientist. We didn't have a scribe. Or an Odin. Oda. No, Yamato's Odin, right? I'm still mad, Oda. No, you're coming for you, Oda. Not mad about <laughs> Carrot, though. I hate Carrot. Fuck <laughs> Carrot. You hate Carrot? No, I don't actually hate I love Carrot. Carrot. I was about to start crying over here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Nah, you big lug. I would have taken Yamato and Carrot. It would have been fine. Seriously. <clears throat> All right, so he's talking with Luffy. Luffy doesn't give a shit. He's clearly not getting it. He's telling him all this stuff. What I found very interesting in all of Tell this... Tell us, Alex. So... I think he's going to do it. Oh, I I definitely am. My quest to further further my understanding of energy led me to investigate the ancient fuel that powered this mechanical soldier. Yeah. So, that's number one. There's an ancient fuel source that might not have needed... It had a source, I guess, but it was an infinite source. It was either very renewable or infinite. Right. And it was what powered this soldier. And 200 years ago, this dude was up there with Marie Joie, like, causing chaos, but ran out of power. 
So maybe it had the last bits of that infinite energy, or maybe it had a different type that just didn't get to the place. <laughs> anyway, unlimited power. Very interesting because, and this was a thought that I just had, mm -hmm. follow me on this, there was a whole civilization on the moon that was not powered, and then somebody showed up, and powered the entire civilization with a single attack. Mm -hmm. And now the whole civilization of the moon is powered up. As long as that dude is alive, technically that is an infinite power <clears throat> source. Yeet. I could agree with that. Mm -hmm. The rumble rumble fruit, which is in Enaru's hands, could be that infinite power source. In the same vein, I think I mentioned something like this last week. Maybe I didn't. Actually, a few weeks ago, remember when Lilith was talking about how this island is powered by fire or like a really like eternal flame or some shit like that? Mm -hmm. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, you know what a fucked up thing would be to do to Ace? <laughs> Make him be the power. My man was fire, fire just feeding him sandwiches every day. So are you, are you essentially insinu insinuating that devil fruits are the fuel? I'm saying devil fruits? or very specific devil fruits certainly could fit this bill. But it'd be kind of fucked up to do that to a person. My only counter to that is that Vegapunk seems to be implying that it's about the energy in nature all around them, mm -hmm. not necessarily the devil fruits. Right, which harness, at least Logi is, the power all around them, no? In natural essence, right? Yes. Without sure. devil fruits, you couldn't harness the ice. But it almost seems like he's implying that it's something other than just devil fruits. Could be. Only thing I want to bring attention to was just <clears throat> that possibility. Sure. The That's next fine. thing. My curious nature as a scientist compelled me to take a peek. Imagine how much we'd learn if that forbidden thread of history was unraveled after a dear friend of mine died. Mm -hmm. I found myself diving ever deeper into that abyss to... Further his will. Yeah. Who is Vague Punk's friend? It's Clover. What? what do oh, you, you guys just... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, because yeah, he was like, my curious nature as a scientist... The forbidden history. To Clover take was looking into that. Into a forbidden thread of history that was unraveled. And so after a dear friend of mine, Clover, which... Luffy and, and like, and granted, it could be another friend of his, but sure. Clover makes the most sense. But in based this on the context of what Shaka was already having the conversation with Robin about, oh. and Luffy's not actually privy to the conversation that Shaka's currently having with Robin. And I add in the flashback with Clover was a long time ago, huh? Yeah, yeah, like Clo Clover at least ago. makes sense. A dear friend. Of yeah, could be Clover. Absolute could be Clover. At least at, at, at this I'm, moment, he I'm seems the most likely. I'm pretty much 90% sure he's speaking about Clover. Okay, okay, I can get behind that. I literally don't have a better idea. I was just wondering who could it be. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, yeah Clover Dur was looking the into the deep history. reaction, Brock immediately was like Clover. He was looking into the ancient his into the ancient kingdom, <clears throat> which clearly housed this power source, because that's where this mm -hmm. robot is from. Yeah, and we, we know from the flashback that they were friends. Absolutely, they were. He talked about how crazy he was when he had a smaller Clover and a sword and all that shit. <laughs> yeah. mm, he was a, he was a <coughs> swashbuckling boy. Sweet little flashback. Okay, well that answers my question there. Um... In short, I know too much that the government wants to erase me just like O'Hara. <laughs> Which said that, Luffy like perked up and was like, what? And then Cypher Pole Zero. Actually, that seems, more likely, that seems more likely to be a, uh, a Chopper reaction Could than a Luffy chopper, reaction. Yeah. Could have been both. Definitely not Jinbei. The only reason I think Jinbei's Chopper is because Luffy looks so disinterested in the next panel. So Fair. And Luffy's not the one. He's, he, he weighs war on them. What does he care? Mm -hmm. Fair. <laughs> so here's my thing. So now that Cypher Pole has showed up, and we're going to be releasing these Seraphims, and we're going to be going to battle with these Shit's guys. going to get crazy. It's not too long before we see Policeman Kuma showing up again, right? Because they attack people for... Oh, yeah. They yeah. attack people for stealing clothes. I'm assuming a full-on assault on the well, island. Especially... <laughs> okay, we'll see if that makes it in. Probably won't. Um, I do. I do see Kuma as like a big brother who could maybe pick on his little brother. Are you, are you proud of me, Daddy? Are you proud? Don't of me? call me Daddy. I'm just. I'm very curious what his relationship with Seraph and Kuma is gonna be. 
Um, again, there might, there's going to be a lot of Kuma this arc, especially if real Kuma's on his way there, Seraphim's there, and then <laughs> all the police ones. Kuba, Kuma is just the one piece equivalent to Cowbell. No, we need not, more Cowbell. Not to mention how many actual pacifistas might be on this island as well, if Centamaru's here. Centamaru's always running We know there's at least two now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I don't and I don't really call the the Seraphim's pa- pacifistas. I mean, I know they are, but like I try to... Same technology. No, it is. It is. Different level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so they pop in here with the pop off root power. That's crazy. Yeah. Because now we know that baby Kuma can use that to move massive amounts of people. Because that was their whole thing, right? Is how do they get in? Also the- instantaneously. Now that I think about also it, also instantaneously. Mind. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Right. And this this is the baby version, right? Yeah. And the full version can fucking yeah. Um. Uh. Hey, did you guys hear about the two weaponized sea beasts that got taken out of the coasts? They're intruders. Um, all the straw hats are freaking out. They're going to protect Robin. I love Sanji's immediate. <laughs> the T-pos <laughs> to protect. <coughs> oh, I didn't even notice that, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. sea beasts are absolutely destroying the ship like predicted. And that's when Shaka goes into battle mode. Evacuate the researchers. Atlas, make your way back to the lab. Prepare the seraphims. We're deploying... S Snake, S Hawk, S Shark. That's Boa, that's Mihawk, and that's Jinbei. Which, here's my thing. If they gave Jinbei a devil fruit, right, the swim swim fruit, what did they give Mihawk? Because my assumption is Boa would have the same one, right? Mm-hmm. But that one might also be a little problematic because she's a child, right? Well, we also, we apparently know this. No, one. no, I'm, I'm being very real, right? No, I know. I'm being very real. Boa Hancock is a child, mm-hmm. and it's the people who the, the fall in love. The seraphim or... version of her is a child, yes. So maybe she has that fruit, maybe she doesn't. Mihawk, what kind of devil fruit would you guys give Mihawk to make him absolutely OP? <clears throat> Now, don't, I'm not expecting you guys to be geniuses like Oda because the whole fucking swim swim with, like, Jinbei, that was so fucking Hear me smart. out. Go ahead. And this is going to sound like a shit post okay. for a second. I would give him the chop chop fruit because he could literally chop through himself if he needed to Honest. to attack somebody. Oh, that's actually kind of, that's, that's kind of interesting. Okay. Honestly, okay. I could see him in the interest of being a swordsman and speaking of sharp objects... Um, I can see him taking the string fruit. An endless array of blades, mm. essentially. Well, mm. wouldn't, why not give him uh, 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 Daz Bones fruit? That Dice Dice fruit. Does Dad, do they have it? I mean, I know he was a prisoner, but it just depends. That's the thing. Like, I don't, we don't know, we I don't don't know, know what the standard is. what the level to like create a devil fruit <clears throat> Vegapump needs to do it. Yeah. It's, it's kind of insane. Yeah, how much of that lineage factor does he need? But yeah. That's okay. Uh, I would say if they're gonna give Mihawk a fruit, I think I would give him um, what's her name in Dressrosa, who can see like a thousand. Moves. Oh, Viola's fruit. I uh, think Viola's the sight sight fruit. Yeah, uh, the look look fruit. I think like the ability, all the abilities that come with that shit would be kind of OP for him, especially if he can throw like slashes that like cut islands in half. He could throw those freaking far. Um, anyway, also... Glare, glare, fruit. The glare, glare, fruit. Um, okay, entrust their command to Sentomaro. Sentomaro here confirmed? Maybe? Possibly. Sentomaro versus Luchi? Maybe? Could be interesting. Sentomaro versus Luffy? Maybe? Who? <laughs> Big old rumble. <laughs> Sentomaro, like, betrays Vegapunk as well. Again, Vegapunk has the capacity to be a very tragic character. Well, and also, but the thing is... is I don't know where the (coughs) the loyalty lies. No, I don't know, but here's the thing, too. Like, just considering it, this isn't one way or the other. This is... Sentomaru, the only thing he's displayed is a sense of duty towards being a Marine. We really have... Like, I think the... Like, we have a negative... Wipe the floor with Luffy. We have a negative perception of him because he was... He gave him such trouble. Sure. But never won that arc. But at the same time, it's not like he was toying with them. He was like, yeah, pathetic weakling. He seemed very serious. He was serious about his job. Which was very parallel to Kizaru, who was just like, whoa, woo. You mean, Dark you, mean very opposite, you, mean, you mean very opposite of Kizaru. Yeah, very much so. Despite, um, but so, then, I mean, there's a there's good chance good that Sentimaru could be like one of the good Marines. Could be. He's just overly serious. So he does seem to follow orders, which I don't know well, he does. orders he follows if it's Celestial but he's, Dragons. But, he, but at the very least, he doesn't seem to be a Luchi or a Green Bull. No. 
Not necessarily, no. In no. fact, the connection to Kizaru actually would make me think he's more unclear in his justice if he has one at all. Because he's like, hey, uncle! Like, especially if Kizaru raised him. Yeah. Very, we, we just don't know about Centamaru yet. We don't. This, this is an unknown. We don't know. If we were CP0 in Wano with the little white and black, like, checkers, we I wouldn't know where to put Centamaru right yeah. now. To be fair to your point about Centamaru, Brock, he What's wasn't up, officially a Marine until after the time skip. Didn't he get upgraded to it? Yeah, he was an official Marine. Post time skip, yeah. Yeah, he was right. an official Marine. Once Which they before got to then Sabadee he was just again. Science Division. Yeah, he was just the Science Division. And Vegapunk Bodyguard. So, yeah, I don't know what pulls him more now. Uh, but Shaka <clears throat> seems to trust him, which leads me to think he's more on their side than CP. Yeah, potentially. For, and there might, might be a direct relationship there. Right. Um, then we get Vegapunk being accepted into the Straw Hats, I guess, for a time. Could be very short. Could be very long. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Chopper is like, that's your screening process? Great moment for Chopper there. Chopper, were you not there when he asked if a skeleton could poop? Uh, Chopper could have been. I don't know. I'm actually. pretty sure he was probably No, there. I think Chopper, Nami, and Usopp were separated from the rest at that point. No, because they met them before they made fall landfall on uh, Thriller Bark. They met Brooke. Brooke's the last one his... to join before Jim. No, but what I'm saying is, I think at that point, um, they were at Hogback's mansion and they were no, going no, no, through. No, 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 no. Some, they... no, no. Some went on the. No, 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 no. They met the ships before they got to Thriller Park. Yeah, they met. And Brooke's he was just ship. on the ship, and they had him for lunch. Oh, sorry. I was thinking of the uh, unicorn in the tree, not Brooke. You're that's good. Fair. But anyway, so that's a fun thing. Vegapunk's like, "Man, I'll see you up there. Bring Bonnie." And then Luffy's like, "No problem." Then he disappears, warps, turns invisible. It reminds me of when Queen turned invisible. Remember those panels yeah. in Wano? It okay. does look like invisibility. It would be really funny if he turned invisible and then went... He's dead. <laughs> Hopefully it but that's why it's interesting to me, right? Because everything that Vegapunk is has kind of been touched on by Queen, by Judge, by uh, Caesar. Smiles for Caesar. He's probably, for, right? he's probably the source of all the stuff they're using. It wouldn't using. throw me off. If oh my like, gosh, I didn't even like to think about that. Cloning from, like... From, so judge judge. cloning, right? Smiles with no, Caesar. No, no, no. And then Queen would be some relation to the I think I think, that, I think that's a good mix. Cybernetics. I think, I think it's a good mixture of all his tech. Right. All yep. of their stuff they basically got from him he, that they he, then... He mastered it all because obviously he, he's a brainy human. So, mm -hmm. like... In, Why wouldn't he? Even if they mastered it, he just took it and improved upon it because he has so much more, mm -hmm. right? So anything that they can do, he can do better. Anyway, um, he disappears in some way, shape, or form. He vanished. Uh, and then CP0 has a really fun gag bit here where they try to fight the hologram. It's a hologram. Kaku's like, okay, we'll all go investigate. And then he gets blasted. And then Stussy reveals, oh, if you go up there, you're going to get blasted. And Luchi's like, I like Stussy. Stussy. And Stussy's currently my favorite. He doesn't CP0. say that. He's like, you should mention this before. Yeah, but he says it in such a way that I can't imagine he's going, oh, you really should. Like, he's like, no, oh, you should have mentioned that before, Stussy. Well, I imagine he just doesn't care. Right? I mean, he knows Kaku's strong. No, Kaku he... was second only. He, he knows Kaku can take the hit. He's just like, say that next time. I mean, look at Kaku, all burnt to a crisp, like, yo, should be some work. He's probably he's probably used to Stussy's by now. It's probably one of her gags is that she says stuff after they should be said. And Stussy's come back. Well, at least you're not chilly anymore, right? I yeah. loved that. <laughs> it's like, why are we gagging on Kaku? Was... I get, I, maybe the, the whole thing in this is going to be Luchi, then Stussy, then Kaku, and that's why he gets the gags. Because that was Jabra. He got gagged on very much, so now Kaku might be in that position. No, it'd be, I mean, it'd be interesting. It would definitely be a flip of the normal script, which so far that's what I'm seeing. Um, Atlas! You know Rage, and she is coming in. What is it? She runs Riot, right? Runs Riot. She's coming to try to run Riot, Ultra Mighty, and then she gets absolutely demolished. Like, one shot, cracked eye, explosion on the face. Like, she is down, smoking, like, not even a fight. And we all said, well, physically, I think Atlas would be the strongest. We said that a couple weeks back of the Vega. It would make sense. And... Strongest Vegapunk strength wise, done. Nothing compared to Luchi. Nothing. Um, and the fact that he started with that, I don't know if that's because he had to start with that. Because he's like, oh, no way a real threat. Had to start with that. Well, that's the hope, right? Because I, I, this was his final technique when he last fought Luffy. <clears throat> I yes. think it was more of a matter of. Um, I think I think it was a matter of efficiency. Get her out. Get her down. Get her done. 
Mm. Like it was, it, I, I don't think it's the best he can do at I'm this not, point. I'm not wasting time with this. But it's like it's strong enough for like well, get out of my way. And his entire thing is I have to kill the Vega Punk. He's like, oh, that's one of the Vega Hunks. Okay, killing you, yep. right? Yep. Like that's if if this is li- to Luchi before he sees Luffy. This mission is just like that time he went to the fucking like docking bay and he had to kill all those p- yeah. people in there. He's just like, I'm gonna kill everyone. I'll be standing on the bodies at the end. Mission done. Speaking oh my of. Gosh. Who do you think Jimmy's going to fight? You know? Is this going to be a full-on fight, or are they going to split way soon? Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Bonnie's unconscious right now. Yes. Can we have a full-on fight with no? I don't know. This is crazy. Because if, 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 if Luffy is trying to protect Bonnie and knows that she might be in the crossfire, he might actually, or Jimbe, someone's going to be like, hey. My only thing is... Luffy might not take the <laughs> chance because he knows more than anybody or as much as anybody how much that guy went after Robin. Sure. And he, I'm sure he remembers. He says, I will hunt that woman till the ends of the earth. <laughs> and I can see Luffy being like, uh-uh. Here's the thing. You leave Robin alone, bitch. Here's the thing. Atlas is also not fully dead. Yes. So Luffy also has the chance here maybe to save Atlas. I don't know if they have the strongest connection. They just had a couple. I mean, but Luffy, he's they had a couple things. People. I know, I know. He's I know. not a hero, but he helps people. Yeah. But this isn't like like he's met Nami and gone with adventures, and now someone's hurt her. This is this person explained this machine to me that feeds me, and now they're on the ground. I don't know well, if we're, that's we're, the reason he'll fight Luffy. Why not? But remember, he he was willing to he was willing to go at, go after Tenryu Vito because they shot a stranger, but he got stopped by Hachi the first time. Yes. Yes. I, I don't. I don't think he needs to know them well okay. to protect them. So let me ask you this then: Does Chopper or Jinbei stop Luffy? I don't know. This is such a. This is such a weird situation. Think this about is, Alex. Dude. Think about Alex. This, this is, is what, this is what we've been talking about: the potential for the first time a return villain. I know. I know. Maybe I know, fighting I Luffy. Know. It's weird. So we, it's I just, actually kind of in like the worst group that he could be in. In my opinion, it is a three v three right now, though. If you consider, yes, if you throw Bonnie's corpse out of the way, corpse. She, she's dead. She's, bas- she's basically a corpse. No, she's for dead. Right she's now. totally dead. No, she's in the crossfire. No, she's, she's she just might dead as well old be dead weight. She is. <clears throat> yes, she is someone that they could target, and then that's a weakness. Yep, hundred percent. Well, they anyway. said they get rid of her too. They did. They literally just said that, and there she is. Yep. So if there was if there was one more straw hat here, I could say that one of them could help with this, and then another takes Bonnie and hopefully Atlas. Well, we also got to take into account the fact that the two strongest members of CP9 are in this group, and who knows how high up Stussy is on the poll on CP on CP ages. Well, she seems to know a lot more about this. Place. She seems to be a senior member. Strategically, she knows this island more than Kaku. Clearly, so that's I think gonna be and her was, main strength and she was trusted enough to infiltrate big mom's party by herself absolutely absolutely now she was undercover as a deep underground sure. like agent she that's, wasn't that's there that's dangerous as that's no, dangerous 100 percent um god you know <laughs> oh, it's so hard to say like the only like if we're talking actually turns into a fight um, I would almost go back to what I said last time and say maybe Zoro and Brooke engage, but I don't know. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If Luffy runs away with Chopper and Jinbei mm-hmm. and Bonnie and maybe Atlas, maybe Atlas. I don't see him leaving Atlas. I also, well. Unless he didn't know she was okay. <sighs> I don't know. If they retreat, someone has to... Hold, them off. Hold off Luchi and Co. Yeah. Which that could be Kuma robots. That could be. You know, actually, what it could be? You know what it could be? It could be Chopper in a bigger form gets him out of the way. Jinbei and Luffy try to hold him off. Okay. But do you think it's a full on fight? Or do you think it's like a. I think it could be. There's some punches. There's a distraction. They both get lost and get to new places. We'll, we'll, we'll leave that for predictions. Sure. We'll um, leave predictions. But I, I, I think it could. Be a half fight slash quarrel, we'll see. Hmm. Um, I don't, I don't see the uh, CP zero feud ending right here. 
Oh no! It seems to it's have way it's, too. It, it early. seems to have too much build up at this point. Way too early. Like I, it would be disappointing if they pulled one of the things I think a lot of people thought would happen, where he would just end Lucci. Um, <laughs> which I mean, I'm not gonna deny that might still happen, but uh, right now I don't think that's the right time to make that happen. Oda's not giving us a break week. No. Yeah. But thank God. But is this also kind of a perfect place to cut away from Egghead as well? I, I know because that's I, what he could do to us. He could be like, "All right," and here's what G14 is up to. I don't think he'll do that. I mean, I mean, even if, if he does, it'll we like, should be holding that for predictions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah, well, let's we'll, we'll, we'll step away from that for predictions. But yeah, um, but no, yeah, I'm to see the malice and like dark justice that is dark Lu- that is dark like, Lucci dark that is Rob Lucci return Lucci SMK. I get to, <laughs> I'm getting chills, dude. No, it's... and here's my thing. Here's my thing. Here's my very last thing. Do you guys think that this Lucci is awakened now? I would assume so. Is is this he... like the impel down version of of Rob Lucci? If if he's if he is. Because those were all awakened. So. so I'm I'm working on the assumption that he's in command of CP zero. Stated. Right 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 no, right no. right now I'm <laughs> I'm joke. Right now I'm working on the assumption that he's in command of CP zero, and if he is in command of the top agents right under the direct orders of the Ten Rubito, mm. he's gotta be. Like if he's not, that's a disgrace in my opinion. In fact, him and Kaku, they better be. They, they, they have to be awake. Awakened giraffe. Awakened giraffe. I want to see that shit. I want that neck to go on forever. I want... <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, my man, like, shoots out his neck, and Luffy gets the other side of the end. He's like, you we're know, saying the <laughs> And also, with all the shit we saw with the dinosaurs, what do you think we'll see with an awakened giraffe? Yo, yo, wait, wait. You know how Luffy in Snake Man, his arm just starts like... Oh, no. It's fucking his oh, neck. No. <laughs> It's, it's, it's fucking Katakuri, but it's fucking Kaku's neck just going all these fucking ways following Snake Man. It's actually Kaku versus Luffy Snake Man. That's the final fight. In snake this Man arc. versus Giraffe Man. And it's just like the snake is trying to find the giraffe and the giraffe is trying to find the snake. And Sorry, Burke, did you have something you want to say? I saw you put your, your finger there. Oh, I just was going to make a joke at Alex, but... In Bell Down Guard, uh, Luchi? I was just going to say, Lucci is uh, Mr. Morge's Kaido Awakened. Oh, there you go. <laughs> He's just going to keep getting up and getting up. I He'll hunt so. that woman yeah. to the ends of the earth. I'll be honest, he does actually, in the in the colors, which look great, by the way, he actually does, if you look, he has a human-looking bit of skin in the front, which is kind of reminiscent of the Impel Down Guards, because it was big animal body, human-like like Well, that's, that's, abs, well, that's, how, just, that's how he looked... Two years ago, you see yeah, what it was. It was. It was. Well, the, it, it was. It was the, the tan of the underbelly. The underbelly. Here's yeah. the picture. I just and here's it zoomed in. But yeah, <laughs> if, if you go to Impel Down Guards, which <clears throat> are over here, uh, you can see what I'm trying to say. It could just be fur, but I don't believe he had an underbelly, uh, like a normal skin there when he was. It was. It was this color. Both here. Yeah. What I'm yeah. trying to say is he looks a little awakened here in this color spread, which is fan drawn. Which I would love. Which we would need to have a real fight, I think. Oh, for sure. No, like... And if it's not Luffy, it's fine, but to have a real fight where, like, there's stakes, gotta be. Well, and also given his status, like... Especially given his status. Especially if he is the top, top of CP2. Yeah, Because if you take this guy down, you're basically taking down the, like, mightiest... Their top assassin. Yeah. Which would be some nuts. Um, But with that, without any more thoughts... Because we have few brain cells left. That has been 1068's review, a genius's dream. Uh, thank you for joining us through all of that. These are a longer videos. We'll be into predictions next. But in the meantime, shoot us a subscribe, a like, maybe a comment to poke our thoughts through. It. I can't even talk anymore. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. You guys get cognizant. Bye.